Hi and welcome to our channel. I'm Miruna, this is Sami the Westie and today we're talking about the most important time of the day for our pups. Meal time. Let's face it, meal time can get a little boring for our dogs, especially if they're picky with their food like Sami. So today I'm going to show you how to make feeding time more interesting for your bored Westie. First up, mix things up. Instead of always feeding your dog the same food, try rotating different types of food or even adding some new ingredients to their bowl. Just like us, dogs get bored of the same food too, at least Sammy does. I don't know if this is normal, but he loves most foods in the beginning and then, after a while, he gets bored and refuses to eat them. This even happens with the most delicious things like broccoli or pumpkin, both of which he loves. But give him that every day for a week and he'll get sick of it fast. Rotating their foods will keep things interesting and give them a taste of something new. For example, I feed Sami a dry food for his skin allergies, but I change it every two to three months with a similar one from the same brand, just with a different flavor. Then I add a combination of home-cooked veggies and maybe meat or fish on top to get him to eat. I can't give him meat or fish for every meal because he's slightly allergic and he gets itchy if he has it every day. So he only gets it every now and then. Sometimes I also add fresh fruit to his bowl, which he always loves. His favorite fruits are mango and papaya, which we are lucky enough to find everywhere here in Portugal. Let me know if you want me to make a video to show you some of Sami's favorite meals. However, you can't always be changing your dog's food for every meal, so this is why I had to be creative and find other ways to keep Sami interested. So my second tip is... Feed your dog in different locations. Try feeding them in different rooms of the house or even outside. This will give them a change of scenery and keep mealtime exciting. When we travel and Sami has to eat his meal in a hotel room or even in the airport, I notice he never refuses his food, even if it's usually just plain kibble. He eats every bite and I think location has something to do with it. When we're at home, sometimes I give Sami his breakfast out in the yard and his appetite seems to go way up when I do that. Just the other day I was calling him to breakfast in his usual spot in the kitchen and he decided he's not hungry. So I thought, okay, let's try this. And I moved his bowl out in the yard. He came and suddenly decided his food tastes better here. Which proves that changing the feeding location works with picky dogs. Or if we ever go out for dinner and take Sami with us, I make sure I pack his food in a Ziploc bag along with his travel bowl, so that he gets to eat his meal in a new place. I don't know if it's the change of scenery or the smell of all the delicious foods around our table, but 9 out of 10 he'll eat his food without complaints. If you have a picky Westie too, give this a try and let me know if it works. Another way to make mealtime more interesting is to use interactive feeders. These are toys that make your Westie work for their food by using their brain, which not only makes mealtime more exciting, but it also provides them with the much-needed mental stimulation. Even if your dog is not picky, they will still benefit from using food puzzles, because it gives them a job to do. They get to exercise their mind by sniffing and making decisions, which is a great de-stressor and helps release some of that energy that all dogs have. But especially for dogs who are bored of their meals, using what they call enrichment toys and techniques will surely help with their appetite. If you want to try this too but you don't know where to start, I have a video on food puzzles and other interactive feeders that I recommend 
so you can go watch that next. I'll put the link in the description. Another way to get your dog excited about their food is to make mealtime a bonding experience. Don't just call your dog to eat. Use this moment of the day as an opportunity to give them some extra love and attention. For instance, instead of putting the food in their bowl and leaving them to eat, try feeding your dog by hand. This will make mealtime even more special for them. You can even make it into a game, like have food in both hands and make them choose which hand they want to start with. Or if you want to level up, here's a technique that I use with Sami when he's bored. Sit on a chair and have food in both hands. Then look at your dog and wait. Don't say a word. Wait for them to do something, like sit. Then open one hand and let them eat. Do the same thing again, but this time wait for them to do something different, like lay down. Reward immediately. Repeat this until your dog goes through all the tricks and positions he can think of without you saying anything at all. Make sure you don't do this for more than 5 minutes though, because your dog will get tired and will lose interest, so 5 minutes is the sweet spot to keep them engaged in the game. Being silent and not saying anything is important here because it forces them to think and make decisions instead of just executing. So they get to work for their food and earn every bite. Sami's dog trainer always says, us humans have to work for our food, so why should our dogs get it for free? I always keep this in mind and it's shaped the way I do things. For example, Sami doesn't get his treats for free ever. No matter how cute and adorable I think he is. I make sure to always ask for something in return. It can be something as small as asking him to sit. Or waiting for him to look up at me and then I give him the treat as a reward. This is healthy for him, but it's also a great bonding experience for the two of us. Give it a try with your dog and let me know how it goes. I'm sure your dog will love it. So there you have it! Some simple and easy ways you can try today to make your Westie puppy more excited about their meal. With these tips, you'll be able to give your dog a meal time they look forward to every day. Let me know in comments if you tried any of these tips and tell me, how did they work for you? Thanks for watching and if you want to learn more about Westie Terriers, go watch this video next.